What's up, fragrance connoisseurs? Um, this is my first live, so I don't even know if anybody's in here, but I am going live anyway. So we are going to start and up. Oh, Sally knows it all. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Sally? Sally, I'm gonna start right now with my scent of the day, and this is La Cordy by Montclair. So I wanted to give a shout out. This is, again, my scent of the day. I want to give a shout out to EQ. EQ is where I got this from. So this is definitely a cypress scent, but it also bergamot. It's a really nice scent, black tea, and I really liked it. I've been rocking it. It's been my scent of the day. Got three compliments from it and just wanted to come out, but Glad to see Sally in the building. Yep, tell me your scent of the day, everybody who's in. Oh, sold Ormond. Oh, scent of the day is Ormond Jane. Nice, nice, nice. So we're going to get it all started. I wanted to, one, thank everybody for support. And even Sally being in here, I really appreciate that. I believe that we're one community. And it's a good time to just come together. I know there's a lot of things that are happening in the world that polarize us and separate us from politics to wars. But I really believe that the fragrance community is a really great community. We vibe off of just different fragrances. And so I wanted to get an opportunity to say thank you to everybody. We're at 980 subscribers, we're counting down 20 to 1,000 and being fully monetized. So I am really, really appreciate, I really, really appreciate all the love and support that we've gotten. So I wanted to, one, talk about why I started the channel. So I know that there's a lot of channels out here and why did I personally start a channel with Nate the Great, that's basically both of us. And um, we started it because there were a lot of things that we were doing and we were watching a lot of reviewers. And in some ways they were hitting, in some ways they weren't. And I know everybody has some a different palette. I know everybody has a different sense of how fragrances feel to them, but there were some that they basically gave us some recommendations and I believed them and I went out. Big shout out, Boston in the house. Yep, JN, welcome, welcome, welcome. So I wanted to start a, a, a fragrance channel where I was gonna give you my honest opinion, all the fragrances I have, I bought out. JN, give us your scent of the day and Everything that I bought has been with my own money. So I know that people out here have said, you know, you've been gifted things. And, and I know Claire Smith is one of the fragrance reviewers that has said some things. But just in general, this is how we started. We started at the end of J July, me and Nate the Great. And some of the things that I did, and just for you to get to know me, started out with designer fragrances, just going to Macy's every uh, spring and every winter and fall season. And that's how I started. And then Nate the Great got me into, in 2019, he started getting me into niche fragrances. 2020, everything was shut down because of COVID. And then I just went niche crazy. Started reading books on fragrances started getting things like the perfumer's note. See if that, that goes through. A note kit where it has individual perfumes and scent of imagination, scent of day imagination. Tony D, welcome, welcome, welcome. That is a great scent. I was wearing that the other day. Nate the Great is checking in. I saw him in the back and we'll get him. And then we're going to have a special guest that we'll talk about too. So just with the perfumer's notes, the perfumer's notes kit, I started getting just individual notes and like a trainer, when you when you look at, say, when, when you're training in Kung Fu, you just got to start with basic chopping the wood. So I started with basic notes so I could smell them 
and I could see how it worked and then how it was perceived and how I perceived it when I opened up a fragrance. So if I knew the note was in the fragrance, I would get the individual note and I would smell it. And that's how I wanted to basically come to everybody and give my point of view. Am I perfect? No. Do I make mistakes? Yes. But I'm growing into the channel. I'm growing into to what I understand about fragrances. And like I said, been collecting niche and other fragrances for since COVID. Um, but what I wanted to do, I got Nate the Great waiting in, and I also got a special guest. He's a good friend of mine. We've been vibing since about September. We both started basically last year and doing fragrance reviews and mad, sick, crazy collection. He has so many bottles and just a great guy. We talk each time on each other's channel when we see a video. Got mad respect for him. And I wanted to bring him on. And I talked to him when we were just vibing on for videos. And then I wanted to do a live with him. So this is the first live. So I wanted to bring him in and just going to give him an introduction. And then I'll bring in Nate the Great, too. But here's the famous saying is, you know how we do. Praise to the most high. Health is wealth. And we're going to bring in the man, Cologne. How are we doing, family? How are we today? So happy to be here with everybody. It's a blessing. It truly is. It really is. I'm just happy that, you know, I was able to come here. You know, we spoke about it. And it's just been, when you, once you mentioned it to me, I was like, I got to do this. I was like, yo, I got to get on here. This is a hobby of mine. I love speaking about it. And it's just great to be on. Honest to God. Great deal, great deal. Hey, Sally, that, that note kit that I got out, um, I think I'll have to look it up because I bought it such a long time ago. I'll look it up, but it's a perfumer's apprentice. So you can get different individual notes from that. Oh, we lost the man Cologne. I don't know what happened. Uh, hopefully he'll he'll sign back in. Now I'll I'll also um introduce Nate the Great. What's up, y'all? Hey, so Go ahead. The center of the day. You, you got you to go in. We got the man of Cologne coming back, too. Sorry about that. I was trying to see the chat, and I couldn't see. That, that's what it was. Yeah. My center of the day is the dreaded beach up, man, so I know it's going to give you nightmares. Oh, man, man. Guys, we, we real quick, we got to talk about beach up, man. It was, it was Nate the Great's birthday, and I was taking him to Fogo de Child's. Nate put on 23 sprays of Beach Hut Man and then got in the car and rolled up the windows. I have never had a headache from a scent before, but that gave it to me. I could not even buy the fragrance because of that. I get nightmares every time he brings it back up. But hey, <laughs> scent of the day, Beach Hut Man. Hey, straight to heaven, so close to the skin, so I want to make sure that I can still smell it throughout the day. Got it. it. It definitely projects. It definitely projects. I love Beach Hut, man. That's one of my favorite amouages. Top four. That mint, that mint is really, really pungent. It's really strong. But um, yeah, it's, it's a it's a nice, it's a nice fragrance. It's a nice fragrance. But Nate the Great. Not, not 20, 23 yes, sprays. <laughs> you get that pearl oud yet? No, but I will. What it is, I'm actually focused now. I have to buy the rest of the unique luxuries I want, and then I'm going to go shopping for everything. Okay. But believe me, the first by Killian will be Pearl Oud. I'm not a big by Killian fan, but when you told me it lasts 12 hours, I need that. I'm a sucker for long-lasting fragrances. Right. Yeah, Pearl Oud is, is nice. It's nice. All right, well, we're going to try to jump right into it. I, again, it's my first live. Everybody be patient with us. We're going to get better as we go along. But we're going to start. We wanted to talk about spring fragrances. We wanted to thank everybody for coming in. And we're going to let the man cologne go. It's not going to be like a versus. We're just going to talk about some fragrances for spring that mean something to us and, and give you our impression of it. So we'll, we'll let the man cologne go first. You know, I wanted to do an honorable mention. So I'll do the, the honorable mention. That if this was still around, I think a lot of us would really be rocking this. And this is a 2013 or 14 batch of Creative Ventures. And I have a lot of it left. 
Yeah. This is something that if it was out, I promise you guys, I promise the world, it'll be something we will be rocking. Yeah, I so want that bottle. I've been looking for a four ounce bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what, what year? Yours is what? 2019, Nate? Yeah. 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 It's not the same. It's not the same. And and I was talking to the man Cologne about it and said that's what made me get clubbed in and we intense man EDP. Because it, the 2019 just wasn't the same. It didn't last as long. And uh, Terrence Jones, man, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Man, sir, Sicily, that's a nice fragrance. Nice fragrance. Nice fragrance. I like that fragrance. Yeah. Big so, fan of that fragrance. I'll start out. Like I said, I wanted to, um, in my fragrance, I'll, I'll bring out and I'll start. I wanted to do, there was a subscriber that asked me, about the difference between, I got to figure out how to turn this around, La Cordy and Wulong Cha. So both of these are tea fragrances. And like I said, Equality was the one that, that hyped me up to this one. Got to give him respect. And this one is really, really nice. I've only worn it probably about five or six times now. But it is a really nice blended fragrance when you talk about the cypress, when you talk about the bergamot, when you talk about the black tea, and I believe geranium is the other, other part of it. It's really well blended. It's a really good fragrance, and I really, really like it. It was a great choice. Usually EQ and I taste are about the same, so I just blind bought it off of that when he said it was on Joma Shop. And then Wulong Cha is still my favorite tea fragrance. This is Oolong tea, and this one is more tea dominant, where, say, the um, La Cordy is, is better of a blend of everything together, but Oolong Cha is, is definitely my favorite tea fragrance when you get the fig in the base and you get the Oolong tea and the opening. It's, um, and plus, this one is a monster. This one lasts 10 hours on the skin. Where the Cordy, La Cordy's last seven to eight, but just wanted to say somebody asked me what was my favorite, and the man Cologne is telling me, yeah, you, you can't just jump from one to one, and I, I I said even in the thing that I had to get some wearings in it before I could say that it takes the Wu Long Cha my favorite tea spot. So right now Wu Long Cha is still my favorite. So Nate. You got it. You got a, a spring fragrance you wanted to bring in? You, you know I got I got to do it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so this is the fragrance that I used to beat him on the first battle that he refused to let y'all see. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. okay. I All heard right. about that one. The first yeah, battle. <laughs> Go ahead and talk about it. Talk about it. And I'll talk about that first battle. This is the best, arguably the best, Francis Kirk John, and it's arguably the best fresh fragrance. Okay, fresh fragrance. You gonna put it over Grand Soir? Uh, it, it it could be up there. Hey, yeah, listen, I respect. Know. I've never smelled that, so I would love to smell it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great fragrance. It's a great fragrance. Yeah, it's very it's very spicy. It's fresh. It lasts. 12 hours is a beast projector. So for fresh fragrance, this is the golden standard. Got you. Nice. That is a nice. I mean, I hear great things about that. Yeah, nice coriander egg. seed, the juniper berries. It's it's a it's a really nice fragrance. It's a really nice fragrance. All right, we'll go back to the man cologne. Give us a give us another one from your stash. Okay, so um this is something people don't truly like speak about too much this house not sure why and they have good deals like this house you'll see it like have like uh like 70 percent off so and that's when i buy and it's from the house of silage it's called the formal so the reason why i put this here is because when you like a creed Aventus style fragrance that does not smell the same but it takes you to that manly sexy just alluring and it has a little bit of like a banana feel cream like it kind of smells like when you have ice cream and you smell the banana off the ice cream it kind of has that smell 
and it's a great CR. It's, it's not like a it's not a room filler, but it lasts for like ten hours. So it's not going nowhere. That's a great siage, great projection, but it's not a room filler, you know? Right, it's right. a great scent, great scent. The formal from the House of Silage. Got it, got it. Great one, great. I'm gonna have to get my nose on that one. I've never tried that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give a shout out to Sally because we were talking to Tazo about Bleecker Street. And hold, hold, yeah, on, they, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> See, you didn't tell me you had that. I was going to pull it out in the battle, but I couldn't hold it that long. So oh, I felt that I, I needed to give it out. But um, so Bleecker Street, the opening is rough. And I think that Tazo really got part of that opening, and he just saw that opening. But the dry down is magnificent. When you talk about the dry down of Bleecker, Bleecker Street, you get oak moss, suede, patchouli, amber, and vanilla and caramel. And it's, it's the dry down that's really great about it. Yeah, the opening is, is a little tough. It has like a grassy opening but with the blueberries. But I really, really like it after like the first 15 minutes. So... I know that Tasso didn't like it at all, and I was trying to convince him in the uh, in the in the it is comments, but Bleecker Street is is really nice, and I think it's it's something that's good for the spring and the summer, and it's it's a it's a great fragrance that you have to put in. So I definitely am a big fan of Bleecker Street. That opening has got to be rough because Big Bear said the same thing. He said he can't stand the opening, but the dry down is a masterpiece. The opening is is rough. I, I will I will say that it's it's not. I mean, it's not. It, it's definitely not complex. Twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> he blind bought <laughs> Nate blind bought. He tried to use it in a in a battle because he thought it's a Bodicia that it's going to be good. He bought complex twenty twenty. And it smells like raw sulfur, sulfur, biohazardous waste. Ah. Damn. <laughs> That's we, the we, worst fragrance I ever bought. Yeah, yeah. So you know one thing I learned. Blind by there, there's a note in that. Do not blind buy. Get a sample first, especially if it's a niche fragrance. He blind bought it and, and it it bit him. It bit him. It bit him. Okay. So we go. I think it's the man. Nate I think Turk. Yep. Or Nate got. Turk. Oh, Nate. Nate the Great. 40 knots from George Off. 40 knots. You got woody George. notes. You got green notes. What is it? You got a touch of sea salt. And you got ozonic notes. Last 12 hours on skin. This could be a year round scent. It's nice and woody. It projects like a beast. Every woman that walks by me when I wear this falls head over heels for it. Yo, if it's my go, I have to agree with, with your Nate the Great with your son. Because, yo, that 40 knots, I walked into a restaurant and I'm cool with the girl because she lives right in my neighborhood. The minute I walked in, I, I'm like, I'm at least like, I don't know, six, seven feet away from her. Yo, she screamed, what are you wearing? I was like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. 40 knots is dangerous. It's one of those fragrances. And I do love Bleecker Street. I'm a huge fan of that. I had it. It's like it's, it's like a staple for my spring list. If you see my spring list, I had it. I definitely did. Got it, got it, got it. So it's it's my go, correct, right? Yep, it's your go. Yeah, 40 knots is, is hard to, to like even compete with because that fragrance is sick. I ain't gonna lie to you, Nate. I think this is sick, but I, I'm I pull the leather fragrance out for the springtime. I, you know, leather is good to wear in spring, so I brought out Milano. Nice. Milano is the fragrance that it's just a sexy leather fragrance to me. You know, Milano is just it just oozes sexiness. It has this richness. The leather is not like Tuscan leather. It's not a suede leather either. It's just a seductive leather. This leather, 
man, I tell you, for springtime, I think if if you're a guy and you just like leather, it's something you should definitely look at. So I I'm just getting a little more of that because most people probably wouldn't think of leather for a springtime fragrance. Is that like in the nighttime, in the daytime, or is it is it is this it fresh is all, enough all day? Yeah, all day. It's fresh enough for you could wear it in the daytime and wear it at night because the leather, it's not a prominent, it's a sweet, seductive leather. Where they didn't make this leather like Tuscan leather, where it's abrasive. This is a non-abrasive leather, very delicate, and it's not suede. Okay. So it doesn't have that suede effect. Let's say like uh, the Raja vetiver, it don't have like that type of suede to me. I feel effect in the Milano. It's just a sexy leather. You know when you're wearing a sexy leather jacket for the springtime, like a nighttime, that mm -hmm. look. That's exactly what this is. So, so is it a Cedra Rose leather? Oh no, no, no! This is definitely a one. This is well, I like, mean, like in the realm of it being wearable in the hot weather, like Cedric Barzay. Oh, yes. But let's say Cedric Barzay times 10 with the ingredients. Not that Cedric Barzay doesn't smell good because that got me mad. Yo, I wore Cedric Barzay downstairs to do laundry. I had like four ladies attack me. Yo, you wearing that? I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> so, you know, that fragrance does get massive compliments. But as far as the ingredients level, yeah, so think of Milan, much better ingredients yeah. and sexier. That has a prominent, sexy leather. Similar fragrance, right? You, I, I would say it's similar, but with a sexy leather. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah so and it, it lasts eight to 10 hours. It's not a slouch. It projects well. Everybody's different, you know, but I always spray clothes. Okay. So, uh, you know, I think people who just spray skin, 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 you know, imagine if you're outside sweating, you're walking, you walk 10 blocks, it's not going to stick to your skin that, you know what I mean? Like right. if you perspire and stuff. So I always, I always advise spray your clothes. So that way you get your eight, 10 hours, right. no matter what. Nice. nice. You know? right, so Al, that's on the list. Cause I was looking at that fragrance, but I didn't know much about it. Oh no, listen, dog, you know, I never steal you wrong. No, this is a uh, beautiful leather fragrance. Beautiful. Got it. So, go ahead. I'm done. I'm done. Charm City Turn. Sorry, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Talk too much. <laughs> All right. Well, Nate told me I had to bring it out. So, if I would bring it out, I would have to bring it. Kajal Lamar. If you wasn't, I was. <laughs> so, if anybody saw my last video, this is the fragrance that. If your face is not made for sitting, do not wear it. This fragrance is definitely sexy. The rose, the pineapple, and Nate the Great talks about succulent pineapple. It's a very photorealistic pineapple. <laughs> I don't characterize it as succulent, but Nathan, Nate, Nate the Great characterizes it as succulent. But this is a sexy sexy fragrance when you talk about red berries you talk about apple you talk about cardamom that, that gives it the aromatic feel then it's got bulgarian rose and turkish rose it lasts for at least eight to ten hours on skin and some people say that it's kind of feminine leaning the dry down really brings it back because it's got amber and musk and moss so this is definitely one of my favorites. Definitely a compliment magnet. People are going to love it. And it is Selly Knows It All Approved. I see it in the comments. And if it's Selly Knows It All Approved, you know it's got to be good. This one is one that in the beginning of my niece journey, I was not on this kind of level. I was sticking more to like salt and vetivers. And vetiver is one of my favorite woods. But luckily, I have now kind of increased my uh, taste and eclectic collection because Lamar is definitely the one. Yes, it is. It is. It, the CIG is amazing, and it does turn heads. You're right, Jay. It, it gets you noticed. It gets you noticed. It's the modern Aventus dethroner. <laughs> I like Nate, man. 
Oh shit! It's your All turn, right. Nate. <laughs> All right. So, going back to the house of George off for the guys that like what is it? Silver Mountain Water. So, if you don't like performance on the modern bottles as a Ventus, then you can go Mephisto. You got Rose. You got Black Current, and you got Musk. So. It's going to be a slightly less inky version of it, but it's going to be slightly floral. Some say it's feminine leaning, but I think it's straight down the middle, especially on guys versus women. The chemistry is going to be different. So it's going to heat up in the summertime. And this is one of my girlfriend's new favorites. Last 12 hours. Nice. Church off is nice. Church off is nice. So, yep, you got a shout out on that one. Yo, Nate is putting out some hits, man. He ain't lying. I'm telling you, he's saying the truth so hard. I agree with him. Yeah, George Off is like that. So, oh, for real. That that bottle right there is the truth. It is. I want to get the flanker. They said that's closer to the Silver Mountain Water. Okay, so, yeah. So, then I'm going to say something, right? Going off what you're saying, Nate, when my girlfriend smelled the blue one, she called it blueberry, but I bought both of them at the same time. Then when I sprayed the Manifesto Barbershop, she was like, I like that one a little more. But I'm saying she was going crazy for both of them. But and I think if you had to put them in a, like in a race, I think the other one wins. I li as far as from what I've seen, you know, like as far as, yeah, but slightly. It's not like this dominant win because yeah. She was calling it blueberry, like she was chasing me down. And my girlfriend's twenty four years old, so yeah. she's a, yo. So she was just like, "Yo, what is that blueberry thing?" I was like, "Get the!" F I was like, "This is serious." I was like, and then I, you know, I, I wore it like three days straight, and then I see, I'm, I'm gonna wear this blue, this other blue one. She's like, "No, no, keep that one." Yo, I put the other blue one on. She was like, "What's that?" I was like, "Get the f out of here!" I was like, yo. Nice. Oh, man. So I Nate definitely hit that one in the nose for me, man. I have to agree. The same effect happened to me. Same effect. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of that one, he just showed as up. As you can see, as you can see, we're there just with the same. Yo, we're minding <laughs> our business. <laughs> but I got beat up, man, on that's also another uh, favorite. Yo. Beach up man is a good one. Beach up man is a good one. I love that fragrance, man. Oh, I do. I cherish that fragrance. Great. So it's my go, I believe. Yep. Is it? Yep. yep. All right. So I'm gonna bring something out that I think doesn't get spoke about. You know, and I, I understand why it's it's an older fragrance. So obviously, you know, whatever is old gets pushed back. But I want to tell people that you know the older fragrances are why these brands are where they're at today. So you shouldn't discard them as being like second tier. You know, because they're truly not second tier. That's how all these fragrances are here today from the prior fragrances. That's where the respect and all the all the accolades come from. So I'm gonna put up the House of Avoirge Diamant. Nice. So Diamant is a powdery, sexy, I feel like lavender, just barbershop style sometimes to me, but then sometimes it's just super sexy. Like I sprayed it today, it's just a powdery iris sexy bomb. And then some days I get the barbershop feel. And then some days I don't, you know, but it always gives me just a very attractive, alluring fragrance. I'm not saying it's the greatest of all time, but the notes in here also are not typical amouage where it's that incense type stuff. This doesn't have that. This is more sexy, more outgoing, similar to Jubilation 25, but not the same notes, right? Okay, so Sally is asking in, in the, the chat, is Diamant similar to Goldman? I've uh, never smelled Goldman, but I, from what I've known, because I actually learned from really good people in the past, I used to do fragrances, rumors. Goldman is very manly, like it's like a, you know, like an 80 powerhouse. And this is not that. This is a sexy modern fragrance where gold is a powerhouse from the 80s. And this is like uh, this is like a jubilation, but different. Where I, I feel like sometimes it smells, it leans barbershop, and then like today, just like a powdery, sexy fragrance. 
Right. It's what I get. Your version of jubilation. Yes. You know what? Yo, Nate the Great is special, man. Your son is special, man. He hits it on the nose a lot, man. Yes. Yo, for big facts, that's exactly what it is. Yep, I have nice. to agree with that. Nice, nice. All right. Well, we are going to, I guess this is my fifth fragrance, and I'm going to go with the Navitas Perfumed, and I'm going to go with the Key by Big Beard Business. So this one is if you like Bagari Tiger, but you don't want to pay $300, this one is a good alternative. So it gives you that grapefruit, it gives you a gin fizz accord, and it gives you that Bagari Tiger feel, but you're not paying the Bagari Tiger price. That's this important. This one is a really nice one from and Big Bear Business. He calls it the key, and it's supposed to be saying the key to compliments. That's, that's what, what he got from it. But I, I would say this one lasts six to eight hours. It is um, not a not a room filler, but it's a really nice scent. It projects really well for the first two to three hours, and it gives you that Bagari Tiger feel. I know there is Tarathi Blue by Afnon that also has that Bagari Tiger feel for the clone, but this one is better blended. It uses better naturals. And it, it smells a little bit more of a higher quality than Tarathi Blue. So I think that, you know, Navasis Parfums has done some things that have been on the level. And as, as set for Oud Luxuria and some of their, their other barnyard skanky type Oud Farm, <laughs> those scents, uh, Navasis can, can do some good ones. Never just had some bangers, and that one was one of them. And when I smelled it, I long time ago I got the 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 sample pack, and that was the one that I got a full bottle of. So there's a few from Navitas that I got a full bottle of, but the key was one of them, and definitely like that one. Definitely like that one. Yep. It's on me. Yeah. It's on you. It's on you, Playboy. All right, so. We're going to rival Lamar for the best pineapple fragrance tonight. Ooh. It's coming after you, big dog. It's yeah. coming after you, man. He's always, always coming after you, big dog. <laughs> I like this, man. This is probably some tabs of real. I love this shit. So in the house of Nisharnay, you got Hachiva Oud. Hachiva Oud is good. Hachiva Oud is good. So you got the bright pineapple still, but the oo grabs it and makes it darker and it adds a touch of seductive. Last 12 to 14 hours on skin, I get about eight feet projection. This is arguably the best pineapple fragrance that I've ever put my nose on. People at work, I layered it with, I believe I layered it with Lamar one day and everybody at work Stop me at the door. What are you wearing? Bring that in tomorrow. That that is dangerous. That is dangerous. So how long does that last on the skin? Fourteen hours. Wow, that's worth the money. That's it is. Yeah. yeah. So so we got it. We we got someone that said Virtus Boy at Cure is the new Aventus. I want to get that Virtus. I tried to get it just just the other day. It's been sold out. It's been sold out at all the discounters, so I, I definitely want to get my nose on that because a, a lot of people are talking about that just lately. I think DJ Kicks Jr. talked about it, and I think Sally, I think you 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 might have talked about that one too, Virtus. So I definitely want want to try that. <laughs> JN is giving you props. JN is giving you props, and uh, Sally Sally is giving us props too. Uh, so, Demand Cologne, it's on you. All right, all right. So, you know, I wanted to say something before I drop this next fragrance. You know, I, I made a video one day saying how the word clone should be, like, exiled from fragrances. And what I mean is that even when you buy from an expensive house, right, you're going to get them trying to take something from somebody else. And then you get it either in a high-end version or a cheap-end version, right? Like, you could buy, let's say, like, Club in the Week. And then if you look at, um, what's that company that has, a like, Blockade Checkmate, right? The company Checkmate? 
The Fragrance um, House? Yeah, it's a double attack. Double attack. You're talking about yeah. double attack. So they have something that smells like Aventus, but they're... Mind games. They're, mind games. Double yeah. attack is one of the fragrances. Mind yeah. games is actually the house. Mind games so, is the house. Mind games, right? So they have something that smells like Aventus, but that one is like, you know, 375 So what's the difference of 375 and 50 bucks? It's just one did a high level and one didn't. So for me, like the word clone should be exiled it's just you know inspired fragrances and when you see houses like navitas doing that you should if you can save money and you don't want to pay the big bucks i mean it's a good option right I've yeah, I, I mean, I, one one thing i can say is is eq says that bodicia is one of the, the highest price clone houses because they do things so my favorite fragrance is al karashi blend and um, Blue Sapphire basically smells just like that. And people really don't know Al Karashi Blend came out in like 2015, where Blue Sapphire didn't come out until later. But exactly. so I, I know it's it's hard these days. There are some that have totally different DNA and scent profiles, but a lot of these are at least inspired by and, and smell really similar. And you just have to to really do that. Navitas uh, itself, yeah, is a nice house, and and they they have some things that smell similar to to certain stuff. I can tell you, to me, Serenade, to me, is a better Black Phantom. It lasts longer. It doesn't have this kind of a nutty smell that I really don't like as much in Black Phantom. Now I still like Black Phantom, but Serenade was a better Black Phantom. And you look at some of them that are inspired. You could say um, the Viva More kind of has that kind of Aventus kind of vibe and things like that. But you're going to get a lot of things that are going to be in the same scent DNA, but not necessarily 100% the same. And that's true. That's yeah, true. But, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like, you know, if you can save money, get the same scent profile, and then have good quality, why complain? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, well, let me throw my fragrance because, you know, it's my turn. And I want to give this house a shout out because I know it doesn't get that much love, even though it does get love. But like, I guess they're not. I know for sure because I've spoken to people in the industry. This is not a big house. Like when you talk about like um, a private indie, like a real like small, like private indie house is unique luxury. And this is Marsha um, Magnificent. Nice. This is a really a, a really small brand that they don't get hype because imagine they're not probably giving the same, you know, uh generous payouts. But for me, I feel like this is a this mango fragrance just doesn't go nowhere. Like if you want a mango fragrance, I can't see that they made something better than this. And this lasts like yo, 12, 14 hours. It's nuclear. Look. I wore this, right? And I said, let me put it to the test. So I went I went shopping to Costco's. So after Costco's, I go upstairs to a, a vitamin shop where I'm cool with everybody in there. So I go in there, walk up in there. The girl works the front desk. I know her, mad cool. So I walk to the back. I'm looking for something. They see me, but they didn't say nothing to me. There was this, this girl that looked amazing just following me. Like, she circled me three times, went and got the girl that I know, came back and circled me. Then when they were done what they were doing and she left, I walked up to the girl in the front desk. I said, yo, do you smell what I'm wearing? She's like, yo, I wanted to tell you. I can smell you from over there, walking to you. I said, so what do you think of it? Of, you know, one to 10. She's like, 10 or, or maybe eight, but really 10. I was like, yo, she was like, Yo, she didn't want to really admit how stuck she was, but yo, this fragrance, the scent trail, the just the way it comes off, the mango is just all day. I think it leans like a tad, a tad masculine, but it's a 50-50. And it's it, one thing about unique luxury, man, these fragrances last. So if you're paying over $200 and getting 14, 16 hours worth of fragrance, isn't that to me, that's where the money should go. Yeah, I can say that I have not seen a unique e luxury fragrance that isn't a beast. So mostly everyone that I've that I've experienced has been 10 plus hours on skin and you got to wash off twice before before it gets off. 
So before before Nate goes, I'm going to say one thing. I spoke. I know someone in the in the business. I don't want to say their name because you know I don't want to. I'm not here to blow nobody up, or what. but nothing bad though. But they told me like this: that the owner from Unique Luxury, his motto is simply, "Nothing I put out is not going to last. Everything has to be a powerhouse." That's his motto, and it's yeah. evident, right? And every yeah. fragrance, it's a, they're all beast. Not one that I say, "Oh man, I bought this and it doesn't last, and it costs how much money." Full retail is still worth it to me. Wow, okay. Well, we got DOA. He's talking about Mio Fushiuni Sorgni, the Japanese-inspired cedar wood and citruses. I'm going to have to check that one out. I'm going to have to get my nose on that. I appreciate that, DOA, because I've never even heard of that one before. And I appreciate you putting me on the record trying to struggle to figure out how to pronounce that. <laughs> so, Nate, go ahead with the last one, and then, then we'll, we'll um, close it up. All right, so this is the last one, because I had two more. I had one for date night, and it, but I was going to do this one for, like, vacation. All right, well, we'll, we'll go, go ahead with both of them. Give, them. give them out. Oceania from Rosia. Nice. So you got citrus and bergamot up top, you got black currant, and you got sea salt. Lasts 12 hours on skin, projects four to six feet. This is also not another monster. This will rival gentle fluidity silver, but it goes in a different direction. This is your traditional, more fresh, aquatic, what you consider for a fresh fragrance. It's a blue fragrance on steroids that is better quality. Nice. Okay. Go, go with your other one real quick. All right. And for date night, man, Cologne, this is probably what you were trying to refer to when you couldn't remember the name. So date night is going to be Arquis Indigo Smoke. So apricot and you got black tea. And with vetiver, that makes a special combination. This is one where I was in the Wegmans before work. So I was getting food. And a woman walked by me. She stopped in her tracks, put her in a trance, and she said, oh, my goodness, what are you wearing? Because you smell amazing. I got to know. Yeah, I, I have to give give them on Indigo Smoke. I had to end up buying that one after after we we went through our, our little battle. That one that one caught my attention. That one is yeah, that was one of the ones I was thinking about, Nate. You're right. Right. That one is not hyped up. Nate is the one that, that basically started putting that out there. That is a exceptional um, kind of smoky incense, apricot fragrance. It is really, really nice. Go, go ahead. Sorry. I just want to give you your props. It lasts 12 hours on skin. That is probably the best date night fragrance in my collection. Girlfriend loves it. Highly nice. smoky. And like I said, with the apricot and the tea, that just makes a special combination. I have nothing in my collection that's like it. Last 12 hours on skin. See, I just amazing. And this is another one at work. They're like, what do you got on? And once I show them what it is and they see that price, they say it smells amazing, but they call me crazy for paying the price. How much is that? It's about two fifteen. dollars So it's not the worst. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not that bad. But that's you know, good. some people right. that, that's over. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 really good. You have to get it straight from Arquis. I haven't seen it on any any discounters or anything, but you can get it straight straight from from the manufacturer from the house. All right, I I'll gotta get that. Two real quick, and then then we'll have the man cologne do two, and then we will uh we'll bring it like this. I'm gonna bring in two man Sarahs. I got. <laughs> Intense Cedrop Rosé and Aqua Wood, two fresh fragrances. I think um, I know the man Cologne's version of Cedrop Rosé lasts a long time, but he got an older version than I have. Mine does not. So I still have it, but I got the intense version. The intense version lasts probably like what your original version does. They add oud, but you don't really, you don't really get a strong oud. It's more of a woody type oud. And they have leather, but uh, intense Cedrop Rosé, 
is definitely a spring and summer banger. Aqua Wood is something that everybody hasn't been talking about, but this one is nice. It does not really match what, what the name of it is. It's not Aqua Wood when you get it. This is a musky, fresh rose fragrance, and it's an aquatic type rose. So it has the aqua part, but it's not really woody at all. It has more of a rose floral, and this one is really, really nice as far as a, a summer fragrance that not everybody's going to have. And it's and it's a really uh, kind of unique, fresh, aquatic rose fragrance. So those are two for Mansara that I just wanted to, to give as, as my last two spring. Mansara, just for a standpoint, both of them definitely, except for that version that I talked about before. They both last 10 hours on skin and really good projection. Even the aqua wood, the aqua wood is not like beast mode, but it gives you good, strong projection, like five feet from you. And it, it lasts for, for 10 hours as well. So a lot of people, maybe when, when you get into niche and you think Mansara is really kind of like the step when you step off or just a half step of designer, but Mansara has some bangers. And I really, I know Sally and Tazo did their Mansara house and there were some, some straight bangers that I had to, to put down on my list because there's a lot more Manseras that I have to get since they have about a thousand of them. For real, they really do. <laughs> I like Mansara. I do. I, I don't think they're really a, a step down house. I think for what you're getting, you're saving so much money. Like, yeah, I'm why buy a clone? Think of, that, think of it like that because it's, it, you can get it for so cheap. But as far as some of their blends, like I Eat Exclusive, that, that is, to me, that's a sexy fragrance that can go up against any any oud rose fragrances out there i would exclusive is is really really sexy that is my favorite mansara fragrance if i had to rank them I would me too i agree you know even red tobacco like i was in the gym one day right and i said let me just put this on i was like f it you know i'm gonna put it on so when i walked in there that the trainer was there she was training somebody and i noticed the minute they smelled me they just kept staring at me and after like an hour of me working out they just came up to me was like Yo, what are you wearing i want my man to have that i was like oh this really works yo tobacco is a beast it does it robs carlisle yeah it, it it really does work it does work i can't even hate like who would have thought? I'm in the gym. I'm thinking ah, they kind of probably think I'm crazy wearing this, but it worked. Well, let me give my last two, right? It's my turn to give my last two. Yeah, sir. Sure. All right, man. I mean, um, so you know what? I I'm going to give two. I'm going to give one that costs more and then one that's different than what people will talk about in the springtime. So one that costs money, but man, this is a barbershop dream to me. I sprayed it today just to like, you know, remember it because I, I have so many things. I don't wear them. So I just leave them there and I, you know, so I said, let me make a, you know, when I, when I heard about today's video spring list, I said, let me just pull this out. This is from Clive Christensen. This is the masculine 1872. Nice. I was looking at that. And this is just a very sexy, very sexy barbershop fragrance. I mean, like, extremely outgoing, you know, eight to ten hours. But, yo, I'm telling you, it's just, it's it's so shockingly sexy. It really is to me. Barbershop, fresh, green, like the bottle, right? Just like the bottle. Fresh, yeah. green, and sexy, how this bottle looks. And that's what the fragrance gives me all day long. Like, I sprayed it, and I was just like, damn. Man, this thing smells really freaking good. And I only wear it like on my birthdays and stuff like that. Like, like on my birthday is just it's July 4th. So I wear something like this, or I wear like um from Creed, um, Royal Water is another one that I like to wear on my birthday. Nice. So for the second fragrance, it's an oud fragrance. And this oud you can really rock all year round. And then spring and summer, 
Yo, it's like one of the most sexiest ouds. And it's from Aqua de Parma. This is Oud Colonia Intense. It's a brown bottle. They come in a black bottle now. I want to get the leather one. I heard it's really good. So I'm going to try. But this Oud, it's just, okay, so imagine you're in 1950. And somehow someone put an extra ingredient to make this like the year 2000. So it, it transports you there to 1950, but you still smell really effing good. Sexy, alluring, last all, all day. You know, a good eight, 10 hour fragrance. These are concentrated. So these are not yeah. just like cologne. These are super concentrated. And man, it's just yeah, old school vibes with a young school feel. Aqua de Palma is good. I have a deep can of Ooh Colonia. I don't have the intense though. But yeah, I have oh, to. Oh, so, so you have this one, right? I have the Colonia, Ooh Colonia, but not in Ooh Colonia intense. No, this is the Ooh Colonia. Yeah, this, this okay. is the same yeah. one. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the intense is. Yeah, the intense is super hard to get. That's going to be like, forget about it. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> But that one is super sexy, very old school, very new school at the same time. It has a vibe. Nice. Nice. So Selly was talking about and, and seeing in the comments, getting back to comments, that he didn't talk about all his Manceras. Man, hopefully I get a chance to get, get Selly on. Maybe we'll talk about some Manceras as well. Um, just want to want to talk to everybody in one again. I want to give you thanks for all of your support. We are at 980. We're 20 away from 1,000. I didn't think that this was going to happen. I mean, we started out in July of last year, and I'm doing this as a hobby. So I know Demand Cologne is doing it as a hobby, too. This isn't something that I do every day. You know, I have a job, but we are working to give you good content, and we are trying to make sure that we step it up with integrity. So I know that some people like Claire Smith, you saw her video where she's talking about some of the things that fragrance influencers are doing that just isn't right. I want to make sure that this channel doesn't do that. We, we haven't uh, given out any kind of free bottles that we got out and, and we're shilling people just to get them. We don't get paid for any of this. I give really just straight uh, links. And we can talk about that. And so there's certain things that are coming out that we'll talk about in our lives. I want to start doing regular lives. And we, we will talk about things like, what do we think about affiliate links? What do we think about what the industry is doing? What do we think about the fragrance community? We know there have been some people where some fragrance influencers are against other fragrance influencers. I really, we can all get along. No, no one influencer has ownership over any one subscriber or anything like that. And in fact, no influencer is actually doing 24 seven videos where if you stop watching one of their videos, you can't watch somebody else's. I just think that we all need to come together as a community. I think the fragrance community is great, especially some of the other fragrance reviewers. They probably all know I'm a fan just like I'm a reviewer. I watch so many different people's channels. I try to comment and vibe with all of them just to try to get that get that camaraderie and everybody coming together. So I really appreciate everybody. We appreciate the support. We appreciate everything that everybody's doing for us. And we just want to keep coming together in love, good vibes, and good positivity. So this was our first live. I'm going to try to make it better, try to make it a, a little different when we come to different ones going up so that we have some content that is entertaining, that is informational, so that we can give you more value for, for spending your time. I mean, everybody, how many people came on, everybody that came on spent their time, and we appreciate that. We appreciate the love and support. Anything, Nick, the great? did you want to? Yeah, we appreciate it, but one thing, hey man, Cologne. Mm. So I'm doing this live. Okay. You and Charm City got a battle. <laughs> it's gotta happen. I mean, 
Your son's dangerous, man. I gotta like this guy, man. He's dangerous, man. See, he's always trying to start stuff. He's always trying to start stuff. Because we were talking about it before we got on. He's scared. No, no. I think your father has a great collection. I think it'll be a toss-up because we like a lot of the same things. Like, right. like when he battles you, a lot of the stuff he has, I have. So it's a similar, you know, um, feel. But I would battle. I would definitely just have fun. Just put up 10, you put up 10 and see where it goes and let the world decide. To me, it's not like, I'm not in competition with my friends. Right. I, I don't... You know, if you're a friend of mine, competition is the last thing on my mind. It's all about love. You know, we just throw up, we just do it for the fans, right? We're just here for the people. You know, like they want to, if they want to watch some people just talk about colognes, fragrances, I think it's worth it. I, I definitely do. And, you know, I want to piggyback off of what Charm City said. And as far as like, you know, let's say if I have a grocery store, right? And you have a grocery store. And then your father has a grocery store. So we all have a grocery store selling perfume, but no one's, we're not charging nobody to watch our channels. So it's free. Everybody's free in this community. So it's, it's always good to share. Like it doesn't even matter because it's not hurting your views. No one's going to stop someone from watching you. Right. No one said, oh, I, I just watched Charm City, so I'm not going to watch, let's say, like Taz or the reviewer because I'm full. You're, you're not full of anything. You, it's just a free content. Right. Absolutely. And like I was telling Absolutely. Charm City the other day, when I go to watch reviewers, I go based off of the mood I'm in and what I want to see from that review because certain ones do certain things better. Absolutely. Absolutely. DOA, I, I, saw, I saw you path to infinity by Yi. I'm going to try that out as well. Um, so we're going to have another live coming. We got some... Um, Discovery sets coming, so we'll do some some live uh, first impressions on some discovery sets that are coming out, and they're going to be some discovery sets that not everybody's talking about. I think that that I'm looking at some things to give you a different perspective, and that's another thing that we want to do to give you a different perspective. We really, again, we appreciate everybody's support. We um, love the fragrance community. How everybody's coming together. And we are definitely giving a shout out to everybody. Um, Snoots and Sense, I, I didn't know you were on here. Shout That's out my to guy. Me. That's my guy, too. Snoot and Sense. That's my guy. Yeah, yeah. I I had seen him a couple of times, and I just I just started getting on his channel. And man, I, I really, really like the channel. I'm telling you, I, I like a lot of a lot of the vibe of a lot of people in here. So we thank you. You know how we do. We praise to the Most High. And then I say thank you and God bless. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bless.